Bless the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to share something quickly with what my daughter spoke to me about, you know, what happened in, in church two Sundays ago. You know, she was excited to tell me what happened in the midst of service. I want to share it with you. I also want to share um, a testimony from my brother all the way in the U.S. He shared a testimony of what the Lord is doing in the, in the, in the youths. And I also, you know, want to share another a dream that my daughter got, a very serious dream. So here goes. I want to start out with my brother Brian in the U.S. He, he, he sent me a, a powerful testimony of a sister that lives in Atlanta. They had um, house service. And while they had house service, bless the name of Jesus, they were praying. It was a prayer meeting. And a five-year-old received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues. These kind of news get, get me excited. I don't know about you, but, you know, hearing that the Lord seed fit to fill a five-year-old with his Holy Spirit, that's powerful. That's amazing. And while he was there, he started to prophesy. This five-year-old started to quote scriptures that they don't, the parents don't know of him reading. This five-year-old, you know, based on the testimony, don't understand these scriptures. And he was quoting scriptures, profound, you know, powerful. And, you know, he was prophesying about the coming of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. And the very same lady, she said a, a few days after, her four-year-old daughter got up early one morning and her daughter at the age of four um, said that the Lord show her the rapture. Bless the name of Jesus. And she was sharing with her, her, her eldest sister. And she was telling the sister that, look, you, we have to prepare. You must get ready because Jesus is going to take his people home. And, and she was telling her sister that, that, that our bodies are not going to be the same. Our bodies are going to be changed. Oh God, a four-year-old can't make these kind of stuff up. Bless the name of Jesus. And in the testimony, this four-year-old also, bless the name of Jesus, was, was also quoting scriptures that amazed the mother because they, they don't know of this four-year-old to, four to know these scriptures. Bless the name of Jesus. What am I saying? You know, what I'm seeing out of this testimony is that God is moving. Ready or not, remnant, God is moving. He says that the little child, the little child shall lead them. God have a special plan for your children. So I, I am giving out a warning. Believers, be careful of what we are doing with our children. God is going to hold us accountable for our children. God is going to hold us accountable for what the things that we allow them to watch, the things that we allow them to do, the places we allow them to go, and the, the things that we allow them to participate in, like Halloween and, 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 and all these kind of stuff. God is going to hold us accountable. God is going to hold us accountable if we don't make sure that they're in prayer meetings, if we don't make sure that they are in the Word. Bless the name of Jesus. The word of God says, suffer the little children to come. Suffer them to come. Even when they don't want to, see to it that they are in the house of God. Even when they don't want to, see to it that they are hearing the word. How can they be saved? How can they know if they don't hear the word? My God. And so I'm excited because the Lord is moving house to house. A house prayer meeting and a five-year-old received the Holy Ghost and he was prophesying about the coming of the Messiah. When I went home from church two weeks ago, two Sundays ago, my daughter, uh, my, my youngest daughter, eight years old, bless the name of Jesus, she said to me, she said, Dad, I have something to tell you. When I was in church today, 
and you were sharing. I was sharing from Revelation, a very serious passage of scripture. And she said, Dad, I was there and I was wondering. I was wondering, can I really make it into heaven? How am I going to make it into heaven? And she said, while I was there and she was there, worried and troubled. She said she heard the Lord spoke to her. And the Lord said to her, from you, from the day you were born, you have been in my presence. You hear that remnant? Viewers and subscribers, the Lord said to her, she said she heard, and she was so excited, she was so elated. She said, Dad, the voice said to me, from the day you were born, you have been in my presence. And she said, the Lord says, just don't let me down. And I get, you know, I really get that. That's serious. What the Lord was saying to her, you have always been in my presence. Just don't do anything to get out of my presence. That, that, that's the understanding I'm getting. He says, just don't let me down. Remain in my presence. And as a father to hear my daughter saying to me that, Dad, the Lord says from the day I was born, I've been in his presence. That makes me feel so good. To know that my child is living in the presence of the Lord. In God's presence, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Jeremy and Edwards, he did this song. He says, it goes like this. Your presence make all the difference in my life. Look it up. It's a beautiful song done by Jermaine Edwards, a Jamaican artist, gospel artist. Your presence made the difference in my life. Listen to that song and, and, and you can comment. You can talk back to me, you know, what you think of this song. Bless the name of Jesus. But the last thing I want to share with you, viewers and subscribers, is that my, my, my 10-year-old daughter, she also got a dream. And um, in the dream, believers, she said that she saw in the dream where Jesus the Messiah came for his people. And she said that we were taken up in the air. And she said in the dream when she stood beside Jesus, bless the name of Jesus, she said that the group of us, that we worship together, were there with Jesus. And she said in the dream, she was looking down on the earth and she saw a road going down to hell. And she said on that road, when she looked, she saw many of her relatives going down to hell. And they were walking down, wagging their heads, going down to hell. And she said one of her aunt her little child was at the back of the, the line going down to hell. And that aunt, she looked back and she said, why is my child as to go to this place with us? She's innocent. And she said, standing beside Jesus, she heard when the Lord says, no, she's not innocent. When she was cursing and swearing, cursing words you all were laughing and giving her the impression that she was doing good you have never taught her you have never taught her righteousness you have never taught her holiness oh god and she said and dad when i look i saw a lot of people who i know who are christians on that road going down to hell. They were there dad. And they were all going down to hell. And she called one of the names of who she saw. A very close friend of mine. And I said what? She said yes dad. She was, she was there going down to hell. And she said when she saw so many. Church folks going down to hell. She said the Lord said to her. They are hypocrites. The reason why they are heading down that path is that they are hypocrites. Believers, 
I share this dream with you because it's very serious. And it's a fact that many are in the church, but they are not of God. And that is why the number one thing the Lord is saying to the body of Christ at this time is to repent. Repent, repent, repent and turn. And so I just want to leave this with you. Bob Marley, in one of his songs, he said, They think they are living in heaven, but they are living in hell. He says, You think you are living in heaven, but you are living in hell. And you can't tell a lot of people in the body of Christ at this time to repent. The pride and the arrogance. What, what do I have to repent for? But Bob Marley says, you think you're living in heaven, but you're living in hell. And he says, time alone. Oh, time will tell. Because you think you're living in heaven, but you're living in hell. Many believers out there. This goes for a lot of believers out there who think they are living in heaven, but they are on their way, as my daughter saw in that dream, to a devil's hell. I hope that when we watch this video, that it will impress on your heart to repent. Let us continue to be in a repentance mode. Repent before the Lord daily. Repent and turn. And make sure that we are ready. Because ready or not, surely Jesus is coming. And we shall be caught up to meet him in the air. I pray that those of you who are watching this video, you will not be on that road going down to hell. But you will be in the air with Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Love you all. Pray for me while I pray for you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.